hand that could take your spotlight. So, I know what y'all are thinking. I know this bitch not coming back on YouTube with a new hair color, a new life, a new background, a new everything. Sound congested as fuck. Allergies off the chain. <laughs> but I'm back, bitches. I'm going to take you along with me to go get a wax. Pregnancy edition. Oh, I sound disgusting. <laughs> Yes, I am pregnant. We just had our gender reveal last week. I'll put the video in right now. Come back over here. <laughs> yes, so we're having a girl. How exciting. I know. I don't want to say I'm running late, but I kind of slept in a little bit today. Just a relaxing day. I work during the week, so I really take my weekends to heart. So yes, today's Saturday. I'm going to a wax appointment with my girl. And I wanted to take y'all along because waxing pregnant, no fucking joke. Like, it's no joke. Like, I was just getting used to it. And bitch, now it feels like the first time every single time. So, if you pregnant, I don't want to say don't do it. But it hurt. Don't let anybody tell y'all different. It fucking hurts. Like, dead ass. I'm just putting some stuff on my face to make me look like a normal human. Um, So, first I put on the First Aid Beauty 5-in-1 Face Cream. Um, It has SPF 30 in it. We love that. Then I'm going to top it off with... We love Desi. Uh, her Do Me Over Mist. This shit is amazing. Literally gives you a glow when you are at your lowest. As that is soaking in, I'm just going to go over my hair really quick because this shit is not cute right now. I love when my hair is straight because it's so low maintenance and I don't have to do anything. Rather, when it's curly, I'm hating my life because it gets naughty so quick. I'm not going to do it perfect because low-key, this might get put back into a ponytail. So a little bit about me since I've been missing. I am pregnant. My boyfriend and I got a place. We got a little three-bedroom. And we had one room as a guest room. This is like my makeup room. Maybe I'll do a video on this. I need to, I just had to throw a lot of my makeup away because it was expired. I'm thinking maybe I will record something about my beauty room because it's actually really freaking cute and I always get compliments when people come over. This is like my my quiet time. Like this is my area. We're turning the guest bedroom into a nursery and we're going to leave this room as is because this is also my boyfriend's gaming room. I think we still deserve to have like our little items and stuff. So now I'm just covering up some blemishes with this concealer. I'm not doing a whole face. I literally haven't done a full face of makeup in so long. <laughs> this baby here. Our hormones completely do not mix. Like completely hate each other. So my face has been at like an all time fuck you. So a little bit about the baby. So we're naming her Avea Rose. How cute, I know. Naming her Avea Rose and I'm super, super, super excited. And since I've had acne, I kind of figured it was a girl, but I was trying to convince myself it was a boy, so if it was a boy, I can't be upset, which I wasn't going to be upset because a baby is a baby. Like, as long as the baby's healthy, that's really all I can ask for. Like, I'm grateful for this entire journey, so if it was a boy, I, I don't think I'd be pissed. Definitely not like those girls on those videos where they're, like, falling out crying. Like, that definitely would have not been me. Like, see what a little concealer will do? We love that. But yes, I'm really grateful it's a girl. My boyfriend was like, 
two nail appointments, two eyebrow appointments, two hair appointments. I said, yes, sir. He's ecstatic though. I'm like, he knew it was a girl. Let me tell y'all the story and how I got pregnant. Well, not how I got pregnant. I'm pretty sure I don't want to know that. Let me tell y'all the story of how we found out we were pregnant. Um, bitch. So we've been to Vegas two times now throughout our relationship. And both great fun times, clearly. The first time we went for my graduation, loved it. So we actually went back in October. When we went there in October, it was just a really fun time. Like that was the best time we went because there was, it wasn't cold. We had our alone time days, but then like my friend flew out from Chicago. His family flew in from Texas. So it was just overall a very good time um you know what happens in vegas is supposed to stay in vegas right however that did not happen in our case i got birth control from my doctor because i was supposed to have my period around the time we were going to vegas and i was like wow this is gonna fuck up my entire life like i want to have a good time and I don't know about y'all, but when I get my period, like, I'm just so self-conscious. Like, my cute outfits, I don't think would have even been cute because I would have just been worried I'm bleeding through or whatever fucking else. I took the birth control, had the time of my fucking life. I stopped taking it the last day. When we went to the airport, I ended up getting my period there. Cool! Got my period, not pregnant. The worst period I've ever had in my fucking life. But like I said, I got my period. So I'm like, I cannot be pregnant. Came home, had my period for like the longest time. It was like a week and I usually only have like three to four days. So I was like, this gotta go. November comes around. I didn't get my period. Every woman uses the Flow app. My Flow app was like, um, ma'am, bitch, you a week late. What's going on? So on his way home in the morning, he stopped at Walgreens, got three pregnancy tests <laughs> came home and he instantly like he gave me them go into the bathroom we have a bathroom in our room so i left the door open and bitch when you're pregnant and you pee on a stick that bitch pops up in seconds i peed on that stick and the plus popped up i just went like and i just started laughing because i'm like no fucking way like that no way and he peeked his head up like what <laughs> like let's take another one now when i think about it now i'm like you can't get no false positive you can get a false negative but a false positive now that i think about it i wish i would have held it in so i could surprise everyone we were just so in shock we literally ran to my mom's house um speaking of my mom my whole family moved to texas um crazy how this all works out right i know god you funny <laughs> it's just it's been a journey so far and I'm super, super excited to be a mom. I'm honored, literally like honored. When I first found out I was pregnant, I had got a wax done and it still like, it didn't hurt. It, I, I was used to it. This last time I went, I was like questioning my entire existence. Like, <sighs> and I booked another appointment and today is the day. And I don't want to say I've been dreading it, but like, I kind of have a little anxiety about it. My wax girl, she makes me feel so comfortable though. And I love her like as a person. Her personality is bomb. Um, she always like recommends the best products. Like she's just amazing overall. So I'm like, I don't want to lose her as a wax girl. But she's already told me like, if I don't feel comfortable in coming, I can let her know. And she would be more than happy to pick up with me after the baby. And I'm just like, wow. <laughs> That's my life right now. I am getting a vajayshul which is like a facial for your vagina afterwards and it's my favorite part because it's like this little jelly mask and you just sit there and relax and it kind of makes you forget about all the pain you went through um and i actually kind of want mcdonald's so y'all are gonna come with me there look at all this baby stuff already like literally but yes i am craving those golden fries and a sweet tea so let's go and we made it i i really don't give a fuck actually like i don't even have anything to
All right, we are done. All right, so I'm not gonna lie to you. I was in a rush coming. There was so much traffic and it was not expected. Y'all, this time was so much better. It literally didn't hurt at all. Like, of course I flinched, but this time wasn't anything. Go get a wax. Avea is kicking my stomach and it's like, bitch, what the fuck did you just put me through? It wasn't that bad. Like, I'm in shock right now because the last time I got a wax, I did not want to come back. So I've made it home and I want to do a little unboxing of the gift. My wax holder gave me stuff. A freaking beauty blender. Chocolates and it's just some more candy in here. But I'm about to eat all these up. Literally. So apparently my pain tolerance has changed. The wax went great. Um, I literally go in there and we're like best friends. I just love her. I appreciate her. She just lifts me up. Like when I go there, it's literally like girl day. Like so excited to see her every time. My appointment was at 2.20. Literally walked in at 2.20 because traffic was so fucking bad. Like I don't know if any of y'all are in Texas, but Texas people cannot drive in the sun. Cloudy. There's a rainbow in the sky, if it's raining, if there's snow, like. And I was just like, you know what? I'm not even gonna have time to introduce her or like even really record myself because when I got in there, she was like, hey girl. Literally got on the table and butterflied and there we were. This is your first time you've been learning about it, but you laid it on the table, you put your legs in like a butterfly position and because I have like a pudge, I have to like hold my stomach just so it kind of helps with the pain also. She did about like four wax strips on my vagina and ripped it and yes it hurt but it wasn't like unbearable. My skin was just extra sensitive last time but this time it wasn't bad at all. Like I was excited to set my new appointment. Literally will be bald for literally two weeks and then the hair for the rest of the four weeks is very minimal like it's just amazing like i promise you i will never go back to shaving like as the months go along and my stomach gets bigger like i'm just not gonna i already don't fucking want to even shave my legs <laughs> i can only imagine what it's gonna be like a few months from now and i don't want to do my man like that like i like to be up to par and all parts of the body you know my first pregnancy wax wasn't horrible the second one i was like bitch no this third one like literally the middle between the first one and the second one i'm really happy to be back on youtube and i hope i don't take this long of a break i just love youtube i love editing videos i love all that stuff so i hope this becomes a new habit for me and I can be on YouTube as much as I want. Um, I do have a plan for another video coming soon. That's really it. I don't really know. I don't really know what else to say. You know what I didn't say? I never said good morning, good evening, good night. I'm sad. Can I say it now and we act like nothing happened? Good morning, good evening, good night, whenever you're watching this, hello. Let me know what y'all wanna see. Um, yeah, I hope y'all have a good rest of your day, um, an awesome upcoming week, and we'll be back very soon.